Hello, today we're here to talk about the Atlas Interlock. This is an elevator interlock built for residential elevators that was built specifically, designed specifically, to meet the three quarter inch rule. And as we talked about in a previous video, the three quarter inch rule is the gap behind the elevator landing door to the elevator hoistway. It's a very, very tight uh, uh, space and, uh, and difficult to, to, uh, to fit the interlock within there. The interlock is a device that um, holds the door shut when the elevator's not there or when the elevator's in motion and also tells the elevator controller, the brains of the elevator, if that door is open or closed, so whether or not that, that elevator can run. So the, the interlock is doing several functions and in that tight little space. In the past, um, there was a three inch rule and, uh, and there's several interlocks out there that will work with the three, three inch rule. This is the only interlock that is small enough to fit within that three quarter inch gap. Okay, so as I mentioned, the Atlas interlock keeps this door shut whenever the elevator is in motion or the elevator isn't here. Once the elevator uh, comes to the landing and stops, that this will unlock. At this point, you can feel that the, the door is actually locked. This represents our landing door. I'm going to just hit my call button. You can hear the, uh, uh, the interlock unlock and now I'll be allowed to open the door. And this right here is the interlock that we're talking about. So within the three quarters of an inch gap that's behind this door and the hoistway is this interlock which keeps this door uh, shut. On the door is the keeper. This uh, um, is permanently attached to the door. And when the, when the door is shut, the uh, interlock will latch right onto there, just, uh, just like that, uh, securing the door. So this is the interlock itself. As you can see, rather compact. The, uh, the thickness here is just 0.6 inches, so uh, well under the three quarter inch rule. Um, and packed into this are several things. There's three different switches within here, which um, make sure, uh, which tell the controller for the elevator that the door is both closed and latched. So before the elevator can move, you'll have, the, uh, have to have all these switches in place knowing that the, the door is secured. Also within here is the, the mechanism which allows the, uh, the lock to come down and to uh, uh, basically hold that door shut. So as the door shuts, this, this keeper which is attached to the door will, will uh, come into the uh, interlock and then the interlock will latch down on that securing the door. Now the way, as you saw previously, the way that this interlock is mounted is using a plate. So this plate mounts onto the back of the interlock and then the interlock from the, from the uh, hoistway side, the hoistway side is right here, it is, it is mounted up against the wall so that it's within the, uh, the door frame. And of course the, the doorkeeper is mounted to the, to the door.